Welcome to the ENT channel. Today I will be describing the process of making disability certificate for hearing handicap. I am your host Dr. Ajay Jain. I am a practicing ENT surgeon at New Delhi. Introduction About 75% of deaf people is unemployed and 99% of deaf population in the productive age group that is 15 year to 59 year of age is not educated even till 10th class. So that much of illiteracy adds to the growing unemployment among the deaf community. This is a census 2011 data and I'm sure uh, this must be the same. Deaf people find it very difficult to get a job because of obvious hearing handicap. So government have come up to uh, help this deaf community by providing them reservation in public sector jobs and certain corporate also are taking such people. So around 4% of jobs have been fixed for person with disability quota shortly known as PWD and this could be any disability there are 21 listed causes including thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, physical handicap, spine problems or mental issues so they can be but hearing uh, deaf, deaf people have advantage over other disability because they are physically intact. So UDID certificate or hearing disability certificate is required for this purpose and unfortunately many such deaf people don't know the procedure which is actually very simple. UDID stands for Unique Disability ID. And the government also provides the funds for rehabilitation of the hearing handicap and this is covered under ADIP scheme which is assistance for the disabled person. And this is done under Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. You can visit the site of Social Justice and Empowerment Ministry. Well, for getting this hearing disability certificate or UDID certificate for hearing, there is authority which is formed by the medical board at the state and the district level and which have at least one ENT surgeon medical superintendent or chief medical officer or civil surgeon of that hospital and audiologist and speech language pathologist. So this medical board decide the hearing disability certificate. They follow certain protocols. Before that you need to apply for online registration. To fill up your details you can uh, reach this website swavlambancard.gov.in. The link is given in the description. So Following documents are required for registering your candidature like Aadhaar card, birth certificate, proof of registrations, hearing test report or pure tone audiometry and the medical report of your doctor. So validity of certificate is usually 5 years and for renewal of Viklang certificate can be done online with the similar method on the same portal. So hearing disability certificate is covered on the Rights of Person with Disability Act 2016. They have defined deafness as a person having 70 decibel hearing loss in speech frequency in both ears. Speech frequency are 500, 1000, 2000 and 4000. And if you are having 70 decibel hearing loss in both the ears, then uh, you are a deaf person. Then there is another category hard of hearing. You are not deaf completely, but you have a deafness around 60 to 70 decibel. So you are short of complete hearing, but uh, this is known as hard of hearing. So methodology are you visit your audiologist, get your pure tone audiogram and speech discrimination score first for the both the ears. Suppose if you are so much deaf that you are not able to elicit any response in the test frequency of the hearing test or if the uh, if it's a very small child or if the mental abilities are not that much, then even the audiologist can suggest you for BARA or ASSR test, auditory study state responses or emittance audiometry to elicit your hearing level. 
suppose you don't get any response at any of the four tested frequency then it is presumed that you have a hearing loss of 95 decibel this decibel threshold for individual ear is calibrated to a percentage disability till 25 decibel which is considered as normal for hearing you have a zero percent disability once you reach 40 decibel you are considered eight percent disabled once you reach 50 decibel you are considered 18 percent disabled and once you reach 60 decibel you are considered 40 percent disabled so this 40 percent is a threshold after which you, government recognizes you as hearing handicapped person once you reach 70 decibel 57 percent disability 87 80 percent 74 percent 90 percent and 90 decibel hearing loss is considered 91 percent hearing disabled and above 95 you are 100 percent disabled for hearing so once you have calculated individual percentage for of hearing disability for both the years then there is a formula what is the formula you multiply the percentage disability of better ear with five add the poorer ear hearing disability and some of these two will be divided by six so this is a formula you can note it down or you can pause the video and uh, copy it so this gives us the degree of hearing impairment then uh, ENT doctors they have classified uh, hearing uh, impairment into mild moderate severe profound hearing loss and total deafness so this is uh, calculated according to the uh, your hearing threshold like mild is 26 to 40 moderate is 41 to 60 severe age 61 to 70 profound is 71 to 90 and about 90 is total deafness speech discrimination you can read out here is uh, with mild speech uh, mild hearing impairment you have almost 80 to 100 percent speed discrimination score speed discrimination score this score which we calculated when few words are similar words are given to you and you have to discriminate a difference between two then they just score calculated so according to that this chart is uh, given and ENT doctor are, are able to figure out in which category you fall so let's study with few examples suppose a person is having almost total deafness in one year and uh, normal hearing in other year so what is his hearing disability for the certificate so you see 95 decibel means 100 percent 20 decibel means zero percent uh, hearing disability so uh, applying the formula uh, first the better ear is between uh, better ear is zero multiplied by five then the uh, then the, uh, the uh, worst year is 100 percent disability so five into zero zero plus 100 e equal to 100 upon six so this gives you 16.66 percent uh, disability so which is very much below the the lowest 40 percent uh, threshold so so this in the example one person the person is not qualifying for hearing disability so 20 by so in the, in the example two a person is having 60 decibel hearing loss in both years so once i calculated this it comes out to 40 percent so he qualify for the disability certificate under the category hard of hearing so in the example three right ear has a 30 decibel hearing loss which is equal to one percent hearing disability as per table second year 80 decibel which is 74 percent hearing disability so when we calculate by the formula so it gives you 13.2 percent hearing disability because 1 into 5 5 5 plus 74 79 roughly and when we divide 79 by 6 this gives you 13.2 percent so we want so this person is not eligible for getting a hearing handicap certificate because he is a better having a 30 decibel hearing loss and he can very well hear so yeah.